this exact cold email template can help you book 20 meetings every single month. Over the course of the last two years, I've dedicated myself to cold outreach, bringing in over a thousand meetings booked and bringing in millions of dollars in pipeline value. In this video, I'll explain my exact process for building a winning cold email campaign, including what actually converts from cold emails, what you need to avoid, and the exact template that we use to book 20 meetings every single month. So what makes a cold email convert? What we found is cold emails that are short and have a soft call to action. When I say short, I mean anything that's 50 to 80 words, anything over 100 and it's just too long for people to read it. A cold email, they don't care about you, so you need to make it quick and concise. It's also super important that you add in the pain points of your niche plus the benefits of your services. So for example, if you're reaching out to e-commerce owners trying to sell conversion rate optimization services, it can be a good idea for you to dig into the issues of rising ad costs and explaining how your CRO services can mitigate that by getting them more revenue with spending less ad spend. Now, for people to actually trust you on a cold email, it's super important that you have some kind of social proof in your email. You can do this in two ways. You can either do name dropping your client saying, hey, we've worked with Nike, Adidas, and Samsung in the last 12 months. Or you can do a one line of case study saying, for example, we work with Nike to increase their conversion rates by 20% in just four months. This way you're building up credibility for yourself and people will actually trust you. They've never heard you before. So they need to have some kind of social proof to be able to trust that you can do your service. Now for people to even open your cold email, it's important that you have a good subject line that it's intriguing and it grabs attention right off the bat. We always just use something simple along the lines of quick question or quick question or first name, but even with all these things in place, it's super, super important that you do a bunch of testing. So instead of just writing one script, hoping for it to work, you need to be writing tens of different scripts to make sure you're testing enough different things to find a winning script. So what do you need to avoid in a cold email? A lot of people will use fancy subject lines in their cold emails, which will never convert. So it's important you don't use any fancy subject lines like, hey, I saw you in my dreams last night, John, or something along those lines. It's also super important that your emails don't look like they are sent out to a thousand people at a time. Even though they are, it's super important that you add in personalization, which is very easy to do. You just make a custom variable, which is first name or company name, and then you can add that into your email. So it looks like you've actually researched them and figured out what company they work for, making it more personalized to that person. It's also a big no-go to use some very formal salutations in your emails. You should never use dear Mr. Johnson or anything along the lines of that. Just use hi, John or hey John, I will always work. Don't be too formal, it just comes off as weird. The next thing is you need to focus your copy on the person you're reaching out to and not yourself. You shouldn't be talking about, hey, we've been in business for 20 years, or hey, we live in California, or hey, we do this and this. Talk about how you can help the prospect and what benefits the prospect can get from the email, not talk about yourself. The last thing that a lot of people do that you need to avoid if you want good success with cold email is you need to stop asking for too much on the first email. A lot of people will use a call to action along the lines of, would you mind hopping onto a quick 30 minute call on Friday? It's asking for too much from a cold prospect that doesn't know who you are. So first, use a soft call to action, get them to see your portfolio, see some examples of your work, and then you can ask them to hop on a call. Finally, we're at the template that we use to go from two meetings booked per month all the way to 20 meetings booked per month. And in this example, I will use a web development agency reaching out to Knight. So I'll list out how the template works. So it starts off with high first name, then you'll have some kind of relevant pain point to your niche, then you'll go into your offer plus some social proof, and then you'll end it off with a call to action and your signature. So the email goes, hi, John, I saw that you're hosting Knight.com on ClickFunnels. This could be burning over a thousand dollars every single year if you stay on there. We recently helped Apple build a landing page on Webflow, saving them over a thousand dollars every single year. Do you mind if I share my portfolio with you for you to have a look at? And then you ended off with your signature, best regards, Lucas Maxson, or whatever your name is, you'll add that to the end as a signature. And that is pretty much the entire email. So it's super simple. Just use a relevant opener, a relevant pain point for the industry and for the niche you're selling. Then go into your offer with some social proof. For example, you work with Apple to build them a new website. That adds social proof to your email. Plus it adds credibility to you as a service provider, making them more likely to respond to your email.